Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'al habita fillah Every soul should touch death Every soul will taste death. And as it seems, as I was looking through this trail, and it seemed as if I was coming to the end of a particular trail, but in fact I'm not, it made me reflect that death is also life and death. Life is similar to walk in on this trail that eventually you'll come to an end to it and you may not always know how far you're going and in fact when it comes to life and death we don't know we expect we always expect and act and behave as if we have lots of time lots of time to live in this life lots of time to indulge in this life Lots of time to be disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lots of time to hopefully come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what we believe. This is what we're always hoping. This is what we desire. But that's not always what we get. As so many people die from sicknesses and disease at young ages. So many people in many of our countries we see and in our communities, we see youth gunned down senselessly, dying through violence, male, female, doesn't matter, young, middle-aged, elderly, doesn't matter. So no one is promised another day. So with that being said, the Mu'min, as the Prophet ﷺ said, a dunya sijinu mu'min genital kafir that the Badunya, this life, is a prison for the believer. And it is a it is the Jannah, it's the paradise for the disbeliever. The disbeliever lives as if they have no ending, indulging, doing whatever they like without bounds. This is how some of the people who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those people indulged in the dunya believe and behave as if they always have a tomorrow, as if they, are ex they expect to have 20, 30, 40, 50 more years. So they don't prepare for the akhirah. But the mu'min is restraining his desires, his or her desires, protecting themselves from the muharramat, avoiding the shubahat, the doubtful things, and restraining their shahwat, their desires, in order to have the reward in the hereafter. So then, it's being thankful. It's being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what and how the mu'min distinguishes from the disbeliever and prepares for death by believing in Allah by worshipping Allah alone by being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that thanks is not just on the tongue it's on the limbs it means that you're showing thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by increasing your salat increasing your zakat Fasting, doing uh, all kind of charitable acts, things that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obedience to Allah, worship of Allah. Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Al ibadah ism jami' li kulli ma yuhibbuhu Allah wa yardahu ila akhirihi. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said 
that ibadah. It is everything. It's a, it's a comprehensive term for everything that Allah loves and is pleased with. Letting us know that we can show our thanks in many ways. And it all comes through worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.